Let's make some texture with just water. Welcome back, friends. So this, this technique is super, super easy. It is great for beginners. So if you are a beginner, but even if you're not a beginner, if you are an experienced jelly printer and you haven't tried this technique, oh my goodness, it is, you know, endless what you can do, depending on how many layers you want to do. A lot of patience because you have to wait for it to dry. Um, but other than that, it's super easy. So, and you get great results. Great, great, great results. If you like grunge as much as I do, but you also want sometimes, uh, I mean, you can make these papers as quiet as you want. You can make them tone on tone. You can make them high contrast. You can, I mean, I, we could just go on. You could do six layers if you want. Um, it could be a lot of fun. So let's get started. Okay, so today we're going to do a water dropping technique that I've seen other people do. Um, and they all get different results and mine are probably going to be different as well. And we're going to use different color combinations to hopefully get some nice results. I really like this technique because it gives us nice grungy um, prints that also can be either colorful or they could also be neutral and you can just this just make great backgrounds if you want background papers or even just sort of fill in pieces in your in your collage that you don't want um, to be the feature you don't want it to be the focal um, the focal point so anyway I think this is a great technique to and it's the easy easy technique that anybody can do. So you don't have to, you can be a beginner. All right, so let's get started. We're gonna just cover this. I always like to do the dark color first or the more, you know, dominant color, whatever you wanna. Um, you possibly could get these um, on Amazon. If so, I will put the link below. I don't know where, where on, their website I could find, uh, Michael's website, that I can find this. So we shall see. But anyway, um, this is Nova Color Paint. And so because they're in jars, I like to transfer them to some kind of bottle. And sometimes I'm actually mixing the paint. Okay, so we're going to start with an even layer, nice dark gorgeous blue. We're going to use this Mr. Bottle and we're going to hopefully get some nice blooming effects. I'm going to start with a little bit and then see where it goes. And you want to make sure you start this process before this paint dries because once it dries it's not going to bloom at all. All right so I'm going to let this continue to do its thing plus dry. This might take as much as a half hour. Okay so it's dry around the edges but it is not. The, these big pools are not dry. So I actually got this idea of like lifting it, and letting them drip a little bit. Maybe we'll get some interesting, anyway, I still have to let it dry a little bit more. I might do a cool hair dryer on it. And then what I found in the past was when it still isn't dry after almost a half hour and a hair dryer, I, very lightly take whatever's still wet, I pick it up real quick with copy paper, then I put my second layer on. So that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to let this 
dry a little bit more and then we'll pick up the wet spots but I want them to stay a little bit so I get the outline of these little pools of, of paint. Give me probably another 10 minutes. I was holding, oops, I was holding down the cool button. Do not put a hot dryer on this. It still needs time. So and now I'm getting paint all over my desk. <laughs> anyway, I'll be back in about uh, I don't know, 10 minutes. Okay, so there is still a lot of wet spots, but around the wet spot, it's dry. So that's kind of what I'm looking for because I still want to have the outline of it. But I'm going to pick it up really quick, the wet spots. Really quick. Okay, that's going to, oh, that might be interesting. It's like a Rorschach test, right? <laughs> yeah, that's kind of, kind of interesting. So now I still have to wait for it to dry a bit. This is what I'm talking about. This, this technique does require some patience, but wow, we're going to get a really great result, I think. And we're going to use a yellow green with this. It'd be a really nice color combination, I think. So I might just dry it a little bit more with the dryer. I'm going to try one more time to pick up the wet spots quickly. Okay. Okay. So now we're probably good. And even if it smears a little bit, I think that might even give us a nice effect. I'm not even going to wait. I'm just going to think it's, um, it's not totally dry, but dry enough. I'm going to pick up with some rice paper and I really want to leave this maybe I don't know a little more than two minutes so I use my watch for this a lot I, I really you know, time is like one of those fleeting things. You have no idea what two minutes is. So I usually set it for three minutes and then I keep an eye on it. Don't let it go. It feels very wet still. So I'm gonna just, yes, feels very wet. And like I said before, if you've watched other videos, I do not, I'm not rubbing here because I'm trying to press down. This paper, as you saw, as soon as I laid it down, it was like sucking up the paint. So I don't feel like I really have to rub to make sure that the paint is adhering to the paper. What I do feel for is the moisture. So if I still feel a lot of moisture and coolness, then I know that the paint is still wet and it's not gonna pull up. It has to be, it has to feel a bit dry and less damp. So therefore it's not as cool. Um, and I'm feeling some lumpiness probably from where, you know, the paint was pooling when we had the little blooms going, you know, so <laughs> I just find it hard to believe, like I'm actually trying to get blooms after, you know, we, we try so hard to make sure that our plates do not get any lacing or blooms. But in this case, we wanted to have them. And the water, the reason why the water works is because um, the plate has so much oil in it um, and the water just kind of makes the paint separate from that part of the um, plate it's starting to feel see now I've got like a minute left so that's two minutes so I was pretty much right but I'm gonna leave it just another half a minute just to be sure 
I can already feel it's not quite as as wet. Now, depending on what paint you use, I'm using Nova Color, which is a very fluid paint that dries pretty fast. Um, if you're using an Amsterdam or a heavy body paint, your timing is going to be very different. Your reaction is going to be very different. So don't just like watch what I'm doing, follow my time and think it's going to work for you. It, it all depends on what you're doing. So, okay, I'm almost at three minutes. So I'm just going to go. And as you can see, I'm picking up everything. Hopefully that's the case throughout, but look at how gorgeous. Ah, I didn't get that spot right there. And that is my watch at the three minute mark, giving us that little ding. Look at how beautiful. I love how the areas that still had a little bit of color in there and it like it's transparent. So oh, it's, very, it's, it's beautiful. I love it. So we're going to work with some more colors now and try something else. We're going to do the same thing, but we're going to try different colors. All right, I'm going to try a different paint this time too, so you can see the different paints, how they react. So this is a fluid also, uh, Quinacridone Red by Golden. This paint, I'm going to put a little bit This paint's very transparent, so um, you're going to get a different effect. And I'm going to use this other water bottle. I'm going to have a different kind of a spray. Maybe it's not going to be that different. I don't know. Try a little bit in this corner. So as you see, the longer the water stays on the plate, the more blooming you get. So um, being overly cautious not to overspray. I might have oversprayed too much right in here. Gonna let some of that drip. Not getting much over here, so I'm gonna do a light spray there. And I'm just gonna leave this for at least a half hour, see what it does, see how much of it dries. We'll do the same technique with the paper again. And we are going to use Indian yellow as our pickup color. So I will be back in a half hour. You could probably see the wet spots, but the outer edges are kind of dry. So again, no heat. So that last bit was with heat, but I kept moving. Okay, so not as patient this time around as I was on the last bit. <laughs> okay, let me clean that up. All right, let's see. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna use this old one, and we're gonna do real quick pick up. I like. Okay. Look at that. Cool. All right. So now we have to still let it dry just a few more minutes. And uh, let me see if I can get. So you see, even if you don't have patience, you still get a good result, I think. Um, probably would have been better if I had waited for it to dry. 
I think too much of the red was picked up. On my next one, I'm going to let it dry. Okay, so now um, we're going to use some Indian yellow. These two colors are beautiful together. I had done a paper like this recently, a couple weeks ago, maybe a couple months ago, I don't remember, but I've already used it in a collage. Okay, again, I'm gonna leave it like three minutes. Three minutes was good last time, last time, so I'm going to do three minutes again, and I will be right back. Okay, so I got all the way to three minutes, and this still feels moisture. I still feel moisture, so I'm going to still wait just a bit. Odd. But maybe I put too much paint. I didn't think I did. Okay, it's starting to feel better now. Okay, let's see. I don't want to lift it just because I'm impatient. But I think it's good. Let's see. You could usually tell if it's starting on the edge to already be horrible, then you know the whole thing's going to be horrible. Okay, so... Very good. I love this color combination. Absolutely love it. I even like these little white areas that I got. I don't know why I got them, but I like them. Okay, so on this next one, I want to do like three layers. And I haven't tried that yet. So we are going to... I think we're going to start with the Payne's Gray again. And it doesn't seem to matter which bottle I use. I thought the fine spray would give me a different result than the other one. So I don't know. <clears throat> And I think, let's see, maybe on this one, that was a lot of water. A little too much. Okay, so the thought that I'm having is that we are going to do another layer on top of this that is going to be um, teal. And then we're going to pick up with Hansi Yellow. And oh my goodness. This is a much, a much messier process. And I'm usually neater than this. I don't like when paint pools underneath. Okay, I don't like, I also did not like how much water I got when I did it by hand. That was not good. I'm going to see if I can spread it around a little bit with a brush. See how much water? 
Okay, but this is going to have three layers, so I think it's going to be okay. Just trying to pick up some of this with the paper towel because this is going to take an hour to dry. So I would say probably the mister is a better idea because you're getting smaller drops of water. And then uh, you don't have to wait as long to dry. Okay, so we're going to let that dry. And uh, that will take about a half hour. And then we're going to do the same technique with the teal. We're going to spray it again. Then we're going to pick up the yellow. So you're going to see Payne's Gray, teal, and then yellow. And because we're letting each layer dry, the Payne's Gray is going to be on top. Remember from the layers, the teal will be the middle layer. The yellow is only going to show through whatever teal is letting us see. And I'm going to do the Mr. Bottle when we do that one. Okay, be back in a half hour. It's a half hour later, or give or take two minutes. And I still have a lot of wet spots, so I'm just going to, again, do the same thing. Try to pick them up. I love when I get a little outline like that. Try this again. Yeah. So I'm just going to wait like another couple of minutes because there's still some wet spots, but it's almost dry. And then we will move on to the teal. So this is actually a mixture of Nova Color blue green and white. And it looks very similar to Golden's Teal, if you could see that. So that's what I'm going to use. So it looks very much like, but you have to mix it with white. It, it's a little much darker than this when you're out of the jar. When you just open the jar, it's like this dark. Um, I, I probably did a 50-50. Oh, it's a very pretty color. Anyway, water again. Where's my mister? Ooh, that was like a continuous spray. Huh. So, I have, I have white paper down this time because I didn't want to get my keep getting staining my desk. So now where these openings are is where we're going to see the yellow. And um, let's just get that corner a little bit. So I think that'll be nice. We're still going to have the um, Payne's Gray on our first layer. And we're going to go with Hansi Yellow. This, uh, this is also Nova Color and it's mixed with a little bit of white just to give it a little more opacity and just a little bit, a little less bright. It was, it was a little overbearing. I am going to, again, have to wait a half hour. So this is uh, not getting many prints done today. Just know that this is a technique that does take time, but I think it's worth it. So I'll see you in a half hour. Okay, so I hated the way this was coming out because it seems like there's, there was hardly any teal. So I squirted some more and I brayered through. And I'm going to just do that a little bit over here just to show you. And of course it's still spreading a bit and I'm going to only do one squirt. I lied. I'm going to do two. <laughs> I wanted a little bit more teal. So of course now I have to wait even longer for it to dry. What I'm thinking of doing is actually letting it dry overnight and come back tomorrow, see what it looks like, and then I'll put the yellow. So this is going to be a two-day process, but I kind of like this effect. Anyway, we'll see what it looks like in the morning, and then I'll put the yellow. Anyway, let's see how this works out, and uh, I'll finish it up tomorrow. 
Okay, so this is the next day. <laughs> and uh, I'm, it's very dry. Anyway, the dryness actually concerns me a little bit, but um, anyway, we're gonna pick this up with Hansi Yellow. And I, um, I'm i gonna let it, I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit longer than I normally would because of the this paint being so dry. I wanna make sure that I'm really gonna get to pick it all up. Um, I sure hope so. Anyway, so I'm gonna put this paint down a little thicker than I normally would as a pickup layer. And I am, like I said, going to leave this, I'm gonna pick up with rice paper and I'm gonna leave it, I don't know, for maybe, oops, I got two pieces. I'm going to leave it for about maybe five minutes and that way make it, I'm going to, it's going to assure me. Now if this paint was like a normal layer that I just let to, you know, dry a minute, um, I wouldn't be so concerned, but it was very dry and, and kind of thick. Hopefully this will do it and I will be back in five minutes. Okay, it is five minutes later. Mm hmm. Okay, let us uh, see how thick the paint is. I want to make sure I get it started. Yeah, it's really thick. Okay, here we go. Ooh, it's nice. We are losing some of it. See, that was the original layer. So this is the first of this session that actually where I had paint stick and that was because I let it dry overnight. So, and that, that layer, you know, that layer that I let dry is, um, some of it is sticking but it still looks fantastic. I'm loving this. So I do feel, there was one piece, I, I can't even find it now because it, it laid back down, but it was actually lifting away from the paper. Here's one right here that, oh, it's fantastic. Look at all those different shades that we have in here. Kind of like what happened here. I love all these little outlines. These they look like little cells, um, and I love the contrast of the edges being Payne's gray. You know, full strength. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Anyway, this is also that that middle print that we made with the um, quinacridone red and the Indian yellow, and this was the very first print that we did with just the Payne's Gray and the yellow green. Love it, absolutely love it. So thank you for watching. I, I hope you come again soon and don't forget to create, inspire and share. I'll see you next time, take care, bye bye.